So the last part in the section is we're going to talk about colliders and r rigid bodies. And this is the core um, things that we're going to need for physics. And we're going to need physics in our game. You know, we want to be able to push something over, knock it over, something to fall, throw, fly, whatever it is. And Unity really does take care of most of the physics calculations for our game, which is pretty awesome. But we do need to set things up just a little bit. So let's do this right in front of Ethan so we can see. We're going to make another cube. And it's right on Ethan, so we'll just move this over here. Maybe we'll make this a little bit smaller so it's easier to see. Say like 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. And by default, all primitive shapes already have something called a collider. And a collider is what stops us from walking through objects in the scene. So it also has a mesh renderer, which makes it visible or invisible. But the mesh renderer itself does not make it collidable. It does not stop us from walking into it. It does not make it hit something else. It's just how it appears. So it's the collider that makes it hit things. So just having a collider, though, let's hit play and see, does not make physics apply to it. So as you can see, it's just floating there. But we cannot walk through it because it has a collider on it. If we were to turn off the box collider, we could be stuck in it. <laughs> Let's back up a little. Turn off the box collider. And now we should be able to walk through it. There we go. Okay. If we want physics to apply to this box, we need to apply some sort of weight or gravity or something to it. And in Unity, this is called a rigid body. So we're going to add a component and type rigid body. And this is going to add a rigid body component. So the mass is 1, the drag is 0, and it can have an angular drag. And we want it to use gravity. So let's put this up here and hit play. And as you can see, now it falls because it's affected by gravity, it has mass. Now if we were to turn off the box collider and let it fall, it's going to fall right through the floor and keep falling forever. So you can see the position over here, it's just falling straight down. So to make things interact with each other, we need to make sure it has both the box collider and the rigid body. Now, sometimes we need things to have a rigid body because we need it to have mass, but we don't want it to go anywhere. So we can turn off gravity and turn on is kinematic. So now this object does have mass, it's just not being applied by gravity in the game. So we'll use this later on in the game more, but for now I just want you to know that, that things can in fact have mass, but just not have gravity applied to them.